I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Yesterday, I was surprised to see that one of our subscribers really liked my video, which was more than seven year old. Well, I thought that these old videos make no sense for many. Now, thinking about it, it seems what has changed over six or seven years in mathematics? Well, I think presentation, right? The screen, yeah. So here is the new version of the old problem which we are going to solve. I hope you find the screen much better. So what we are going to look here is solution of a quadratic equation. Now, the important concept which I talked about seven years back is still valid. So, let's take it very seriously now, okay? The question here is, how can you solve quadratic equation x squared plus 8x plus 10 equals to 0 by modeling areas? Unique question in itself, we are going to approach using geometric model. By that, you will actually understand how completing the squares got its roots, right? How somebody thought about it. So this is a very important video, especially for those who want to understand a bit more than just solving questions. So let's begin by solving this particular question, which is x squared plus 8x plus 10 equals to 0. Normal strategy is you keep variables on the left hand side, x squared plus 8x and the numbers on the right hand side. The problem here is that we have two terms with x. One is x squared, the other one is 8x. Solving this equation is really tough. How do we do it? And that is where the innovation comes. And I'm sure while watching this video, you'll also come across many brilliant ideas. I'd like you to share those with me. Perfect. Well, in case you want to learn, in that case, send me an email on the email address globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. We make sense even now after 10 plus years. So now see how we can solve this equation x squared plus 8x equals to minus 10. So x squared is my first term. Geometrically, I could represent this with a square having the side length of x each, right? So there you go. So here we have a square. And let me write down x as the length on each side. So the area, of course, is x squared. 8x. So what I will do here is I will have unit lengths of x. So we can add unit lengths of x 4 on one side, right? So let's say this is this is 4 on one side, correct? That is, I'm writing this as 4, right? And x is the length, so the area is 4x. It doesn't make sense to you, right? Other four, let me put it here, right? Let me put it on this side. So this is also four units long, but one side of this rectangle is x, right? And therefore, the area is 4x. Now the area of whatever I have drawn is actually x squared plus 8x. We want that to be 10 units, right? That is how we are going to solve this question. Well, how do we move forward from here? Let me complete the square, right? So that gives you an idea of completing the squares. To complete the square, I have to do four additional units on length and width. Now, I have a perfect square, as you can see. The dimensions of the square are clearly how much, right? It is x plus 4, right? So it is x plus 4. One side of the square, the other side, of course, will be x plus 4. Correct. So we have x plus 4 
sides of a square. So we have completed the square. Do you see that? That is the concept of completing squares. The name completing squares come from this geometric process. So what we really did is that we added area of 16 in it, right? 4 times 4 is 16. So whatever we are working on, which is x square plus 8x, is to be added by 16 to complete this square. But since it is an equation, we'll add it on both the sides. You get the idea. We'll add it on both the sides. So our equation now becomes x square plus 8x plus 16 equals to minus 10 plus 16. Right. Left hand side clearly is x plus 4 whole square. You could verify this by expanding perfect x plus 4 whole square will be x square plus 2 times 4x plus 4 square, which is 16, right? On the right hand side, we have only the number 6. To solve this equation, we could square root. So we get x plus 4 equals to square root of 6. Always write plus and minus when you do square root. And that gives you the solution, which is x is equal to minus 4 plus minus square root of 6. Does it make sense to you? It does, right? It is still relevant. So my focus here is that mathematics is ages old, ancient language, which we are still trying to discover, right? The technology may change, AI may come. However, the concepts remain same. So with a good foundation, we can build on and really solve many different types of questions but these concepts help you build a future for mathematics perfect and this is a question which is the question for you x square plus 6x plus 4 equals to 0 take your time to solve this question of course the first step will be x square plus 6x and you can take 4 on the right hand side to complete the squares, what should you do? Let's look into it once again. So we can make a square, which is x square, means that each side is x, right? 6x, split it into 3 and 3, right? So we have 3 on this side, 3 on this side. So we make 3x here and 3x here. So this is the area 3x. Since one side is 3, the other is x. 3x. The area, if you considered, is x square here, and so the area is x square plus 3x plus 3x, which is x square plus 6x. However, you can complete this square by extending each side by three units. You see that, and that is completing the squares each side now becomes how much it is x plus 3 right so we could rewrite this equation as x square plus 6x and we added 9 square 3 times 3 is 9 the area of the square added right so we get minus 4 plus 9 add 9 on both the sides we get x square plus 6x plus 9 as a perfect square, which could be written as 6 plus 3 whole square equals to 9 minus 4, which is 5, right? So x plus 3 is equal to plus minus square root of 5, and x should be equal to minus 3 plus minus square root of 5. You get the idea. So we can actually solve this question even without using quadratic formula or completing the squares method, the geometry helps us to understand, to visualize, and get our solution. That is what is required today. It was valid yesterday, and it will be valid for all times to come. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to like, write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. And in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email to globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Thanks for your time and all the best.